The Minnesota Landscape Arboretum is once again up for USA Today's 10 Best Botanical Gardens contest. They are hoping to defend the title. They won it last year. The Arboretum is also in its 60th anniversary. So hot competition for the best Arboretum in the country. We're so glad to have the Director of Operations, Alan Branhagen. Alan, great to have you here. Glad to be here on Being behalf of the Arboretum. Being voted the best last year, great honor. Has it been good for the operator? It's been great. It's been a great tagline for us to have. And right now we're running fifth, so we really need you to that. get out there more and, and vote and help us out. Well, now you're in fourth. Are we in oh, fourth? Moving on. Right. Maybe after this That's interview you'll be in first. I hope you so. Never so know. your competition, Longwood Gardens in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. uh, Missouri Botanical Garden in St. Louis, now, I don't know how you're going to beat the Vallarta Botanical Gardens in, in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. <laughs> but there you are right there at number four. Hey, we're ahead, ahead of the, Atlanta right now. You're ahead of Phoenix. Great. Right? Wow. Atlanta, so very yeah. exciting. Yeah. For being the 13th largest botanic garden in the country, that's a great, great score. So. And you guys are celebrating 60 years. Yes. But how has the garden evolved and changed through the test of time? Well, we've added many new gardens, everything from a, a maze garden. We're working mm -hmm. on a huge new red barn farm landscape, edible landscape out out there but the the neat thing is we've maintained that great integrity of the site it's a 1200 acre site that really feels like Minnesota with wetlands and big woods and it's weaving all that through that wonderful character that makes us special you're saying the weather has not been uh, cooperative for the Arboretum <laughs> so far, but you're starting to see some yeah, of those first blossoms. The, the first trifecta of our beloved spring wildflowers, the snow trillium, the hepatica, and the skunk cabbage are finally blooming. Do you get excited past, about the skunk cabbage? The, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> really cool plant. Okay. So, <laughs> the <laughs> gardens are alive during the winter, though. So many people like to come out there right. and, and uh, use it to walk around or winter right. hike or whatever the case may be. Snowshoe but, trails sure. and cross-country skiing and, and still, you know, hike three-mile drive. We keep that open. So. Mm -hmm. How big is the staff that's working just on the garden itself? Um, I believe we're at about 60 in the summer now. Wow. So, yeah, it takes a lot. Is your effort at weeding as exhausting as my home garden effort at weeding Which is? Which is what, zero? Well, yeah, we well have that's how much I get. Wonderful yes. landscape gardeners, and I'm a gardener myself, so my hands, you can see, I was <laughs> busy <laughs> catching up this weekend. <laughs> so. All right, the vote that's going on now, there's still a week left for people to vote. Correct. Any huge events that people should know about going on for the 60th? Absolutely. We have a big crane out there right now installing this origami for the garden. So these are huge monumental sculptures. Wow. Uh, that will be on Display all summer opening Saturday. Cool. So Saturday is the debut of that. Yes. Excellent. Well, Matt is bringing some good weather for you. Great. <laughs> this week. So, yeah. Very nice. If you want to vote, wcco.com slash links to vote for the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. We'd love to see them uh, repeat another year as the best yes, in the country. Thank you. Alan, good luck. All right. Thank you.